Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot mainship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Good morning. It's about six o'clock in the morning and we are on the Ottawa River anchored beside Clarence Island and uh, we're going to pull up our anchor very soon and head closer to Ottawa. It's about a three hour journey um, and we're just noticing that this morning it's very clear. There's less smoke in the air but we anticipate to see more smoke uh, today. It's uh, forecast to be very smoky but we're enjoying the nice clear air right now. So we're going to have a little bite to eat, a little breakfast. Malcolm's actually doing a little fishing there. And uh, after that, we'll pull up the anchor and head over to the Ottawa Flight Locks. Hope you're having a great day. Well, good morning. Good morning. We're on our way to Ottawa. Our old home, hometown. Yeah, we used to live in Ottawa. We grew up in Ottawa, so this is very cool for us to be coming back to Ottawa. 
I don't think we've ever approached it from this direction. So, no, and yep. certainly never by water. Well, not this part by water. No. They're, they're between here, between Ottawa, where we're going, and the west part of Ottawa, where we used to live, are rapids. So you couldn't ever get there from the west part of Ottawa. So uh, we didn't go downtown very much, I guess. Um, you know, we would if we were working, but uh, this is kind of neat to be approaching that Ottawa is. from here. We're going to go past the Prime Minister's official residence. Although Justin Trudeau doesn't live there right now because they're renovating, <laughs> uh, but we'll also go past the Rideau Falls, and the Rideau Falls are named that way because Rideau is French for curtain, and they're the curtain falls. So Rideau is French for that. And the reason I'm laughing is because um, I, I tell everybody that. <laughs> she tells everybody that, so now you know. <laughs> <laughs> so now you all know. And uh, then we're going to go past a couple of bridges that are well known to us, and uh, the National Gallery of Canada, and a few other. Uh, landmarks. Yeah. How do you feel going back to Ottawa? It's it's kind of uh, nice and familiar. Yeah. It's uh, once we once we see the downtown, the uh, Parliament Hill, Supreme Court, Chateau Laurier, Parliament Buildings. It's uh, it will definitely feel like coming home, even yeah. though we know home for us isn't Ottawa anymore. But it's uh, no, it's really nice, and we couldn't have picked at this point anyway a better weather day. And yeah. the the smoke seems to have cleared up. The forecast looks the like moment. it's cleared it. So. Yeah. Um, so that's all looking very positive for us. A little bit of blue sky out there. It's pretty overcast, but still, I tried to film a little bit of the blue sky because it's it looks nicer on film too. Yeah. So we have another, um, I think, an hour and a half maybe left. I'm just trying to see. Hour and forty minutes. Hour and forty minutes before we get to the bottom of the locks, the flight locks. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, we'll have a look at some of the sites as we approach Ottawa downtown. In 1868, this Gothic Revival-style home, perched high above the Ottawa River at 24 Sussex Drive, has been the official residence of the Prime Minister of Canada since 1951. Perhaps best seen from the water, the 30-foot Rideau Falls is a set of twin falls downstream of the locks that feed into the Ottawa River. Yeah, I feel like we're back home. 
I do too. This is so familiar. Yeah. And I just talked to the lock master and all the locks are empty. So they said they're going to lock us up first. So that's good for us. Perfect. <laughs> Ottawa's flight of eight locks is a dramatic entrance to the Rideau Canal. These locks represent an amazing engineering achievement in the middle of the Canadian wilderness of the early 19th century and became the focus around which the city of Ottawa grew. With a total rise of about 80 feet, it allows boats to travel from the Ottawa River up to the entrance of the canal. Today, along the entire canal, most of the locks are operated manually using the same mechanisms that were used to operate the locks back in 1832. We've arrived at our destination. We are right downtown in Ottawa. It's the capital of Canada. And we traveled for about five and a half hours, went just over 23 nautical miles, and spent about an hour and a half only in eight locks coming up the flight locks. So we're here and we're going to do a little exploring. It just started to rain a little bit and I think it's going to be short lived. So we're looking forward to getting out and exploring downtown Ottawa again. The city of Ottawa is the capital of Canada and is the second largest city in Ontario with over 1 million people. It is located in eastern Ontario within the Ottawa Valley. Founded as Bytown in 1855, it was chosen as the capital by Queen Victoria back in 1857. In the winter, the canal is frozen and turned into one of the longest skating rinks in the world. The Shaw Centre is a convention centre located right downtown with views of the Rideau Canal and the downtown. It is used for various events and during our visit was hosting graduation ceremonies for the University of Ottawa students, many of whom came down to the water to have their pictures taken.
Ottawa has the most educated population among Canadian cities and is home to a number of colleges and universities, research and cultural institutions, including the University of Ottawa, Carleton University, Algonquin College, the National Arts Centre, the National Gallery of Canada and numerous national museums, monuments and historic sites. It is one of the most visited cities in Canada with over 11 million visitors back in 2018.